So NVIDIA touches just about everything in technology now. As you've said in the past, you start with zero billion dollar markets and help to turn them into trillion dollar markets. Are there any other next frontier markets that you're particularly excited about? I mean, the list goes on. I'm excited about, about uh, uh, the work that we're doing to uh, bring AI into telecommunications. Uh, 5G and 6G will be revolutionized by AI. Mm. Uh, I'm excited about, about uh, the collaboration we have with uh, uh, quantum computers. The technology needed for healthcare is really complicated, um, mm. and we're making fast progress. In his most recent interview, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang dropped a statement so powerful that it sent ripples through Wall Street and Silicon Valley alike. He said, We've only spent hundreds of billions of dollars on AI infrastructure, but the true spend will be in the trillions every single year. Let that sink in. Trillions every year. Huang wasn't exaggerating. He was describing the dawn of a new era where computing itself is being reinvented, shifting from storage and retrieval to full-scale generation and creation. In this new paradigm, every video, every search, and every digital interaction will be generated in real time by AI. But what really captured investors' attention wasn't just the vision, it was the implication. If we're still in the early stages of a multi-trillion dollar AI infrastructure build-out, that means today's leaders aren't at the finish line, they're at the starting gate. And this revolution isn't confined to GPUs and data centers. It's spreading into biological computing, quantum intelligence, and the software layer that ties it all together. Huang compared the future of AI to the human brain, constantly generating, adapting, and evolving. And to reach that level of intelligence, we'll need breakthroughs that span far beyond silicon. We'll need technologies that can understand DNA as easily as language, compute billions of possibilities in a second, and connect entire industries through intelligent systems. In this video, we're diving into three companies leading those exact frontiers, the next wave of trillion-dollar opportunities that align with Jensen Huang's vision of generative intelligence. These aren't speculative plays on hype. They're innovators building the biological, quantum, and intelligence layers of the AI economy. Because if Huang is right, the greatest growth stories of the next decade won't come from companies chasing NVIDIA, they'll come from the ones building what comes after it. Let's begin with a company that's not building faster processors, it's building a new kind of life code. Beam Therapeutics Inc., ticker symbol BEAM, is quietly emerging as one of the pioneers of what many call bio-AI, the convergence of artificial intelligence and genetics. While NVIDIA powers generative AI models that create text and video, Beam is applying a similar logic to the building blocks of biology, rewriting DNA with surgical precision. Beam's technology, known as base editing, represents the next evolution beyond CRISPR. Instead of cutting DNA strands and hoping they repair correctly, Beam changes a single genetic letter at a time, minimizing risk while maximizing accuracy. It's like editing a single typo in a book without tearing out the entire page. This precision makes Beam's approach ideal for treating genetic diseases that previously had no cure. Its lead program, Beam 101, targets sickle cell disease, a disorder that affects millions globally. Recent clinical data has been remarkable. Patients are showing lasting increases in fetal hemoglobin and fewer pain crises, a sign that Beam's therapy could offer a one-time functional cure. The FDA has already granted it regenerative medicine advanced therapy and orphan drug designations, signaling strong confidence in its potential. But Beam isn't stopping there. It's Beam 302 and Beam 301 programs target liver-based genetic disorders, further validating its in vivo editing platform. Together, these programs demonstrate that Beam's technology isn't limited to a single condition. It's a platform for rewriting life itself. Financially, Beam is also in a strong position, with over $1 billion in liquidity and a cash runway extending into 2028. That stability gives it time to advance multiple clinical milestones without immediate dilution risk. In a world Jensen Huang describes as understanding the meaning of structure, Beam Therapeutics is turning that vision into biological reality. If AI can understand video frames, Beam is teaching it to understand life frames, and that could unlock one of the next trillion dollar markets in healthcare. From the world of gene editing, we move into the frontier of quantum intelligence, where computation itself gets rewritten. And that is none other than IonQ Inc., ticker symbol IONQ. IonQ is the only pure play quantum computing company publicly traded, and its progress over the past year has been nothing short of extraordinary. While traditional computing is bound by bits, ones, and zeros, quantum computing operates on qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. 
That means IonQ's machines can analyze an astronomical number of possibilities in parallel, solving problems that even the most powerful AI supercomputers can't touch. From molecular design to cryptography to AI model training, quantum systems could redefine what compute power really means. IonQ's latest breakthrough, the IonQ Tempo system, achieved a record-setting number AQ64 score. To put that in context, each step up in number AQ doubles a system's computational space. Number AQ64 represents over 18 quintillion calculations at once, making IonQ the first company in the world to reach that scale. That milestone came three months ahead of schedule, a clear sign of its technical leadership. And it's not just lab progress. The company recently signed a memorandum of understanding with the U.S. Department of Energy to demonstrate quantum secure communications via satellite, paving the way for quantum networking and national defense applications. It also brought on General John W. Raymond, the former chief of space operations for the U.S. Space Force, to its board, strengthening its government and aerospace ties at a strategic moment. IonQ's vision goes far beyond building powerful computers. It's building the quantum cloud, a connected ecosystem of quantum processors that could one day integrate directly with AI systems. Backed by a $1.6 billion cash position and strong institutional support, IonQ is positioning itself to lead a transformation that aligns perfectly with Jensen Huang's forecast, the merger of AI and quantum computing. If AI represents the brain, IonQ is building the physics that will make that brain limitless, a new form of computation for the generative era. And finally, we move from the biological and quantum foundations to the intelligence layer that connects them all. Palantir Technologies Incorporated, ticker symbol PLTR. In many ways, Palantir is the software brain of the AI age, powering decision-making systems across defense, healthcare, and industry. While most companies talk about AI as a buzzword, Palantir has been deploying it in real-world, mission-critical environments for years. Its AI platform allows governments and corporations to integrate complex data, simulate outcomes, and make instant high-stakes decisions. From logistics in war zones to hospital resource planning, Palantir's software doesn't just predict, it directs. The company's recent surge, over 90% in just six months, was fueled by a wave of new contracts, most notably a £750 million deal with the UK Ministry of Defence, a tenfold expansion of its prior partnership. This deal establishes Palantir as the AI command centre for the UK's military infrastructure, solidifying its dominance beyond US borders. Beyond defence, Palantir is embedding its AI systems across major industries. Boeing is using Palantir's technology to optimize aerospace manufacturing. Lear Corporation has deployed AIP across global factories, saving over $30 million in the first half of 2025 alone. And healthcare networks like OneMedNet are using Palantir's software to analyze billions of medical records in real time. Financially, Palantir continues to post numbers that defy typical software norms, guiding for 45% plus revenue growth and maintaining operating margins above 45%, with a rule of 40 score near 90. That's a balance of growth and profitability almost unmatched in the AI space. Jensen Huang often says the next era of computing will be 100% generative, created, not retrieved. Palantir embodies that shift. It's not just storing data, it's generating intelligence, connecting digital decisions to physical outcomes. As nations and enterprises race to operationalize AI, Palantir isn't just selling software, it's becoming the operating system of global intelligence. As Jensen Huang made clear, we're only at the beginning of this story. The world has spent hundreds of billions on AI infrastructure, but the real build-out, the one that redefines every industry, will cost trillions. Beam Therapeutics is rewriting life at the molecular level, IonQ is redefining computation itself, and Palantir is orchestrating the intelligence layer that unites them all. This is what comes after NVIDIA, the next chapter of the generative age. The companies building the biology, physics, and intelligence foundations of the world's AI economy are shaping the next trillion dollar frontier. If you found this breakdown valuable, hit subscribe and join us as we track the most transformative stories of this decade. Because the AI revolution isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. And those who understand where it's headed stand to witness one of the greatest technological shifts in history.